The state of emergency comes as just around 5% of ICU beds are available statewide. That's because of a dramatic spike in COVID cases. There was a small drop in cases in Madison County over the weekend, but health officials warn that doesn't mean the situation is improving. Way 31's Luke Hydash is alive this morning outside Huntsville Hospital. Luke, what's the situation like there? Megan, good morning to you. Right now, there are 143 COVID inpatients here at Huntsville Hospital. And officials say, although that's a dip from late last week, those who are here are very, very sick. Now, right now, of those patients here in the hospital, 39 of them are in the ICU and 30 are on a ventilator. And numbers like these haven't been around since back in January. And that has health officials pretty worried here in Madison County. They say people coming into the hospital are showing up more sick than they were before. We have 143 people in Madison County that will tell you that. They're in the hospital right now. They'll tell you that they, you can get sick and you can have respiratory issues enough where you can't breathe like you're smothering. Doty says they're hoping this dip in cases continues, and if it does, it'll be a true indication that the virus is receding and that there is a downward trend in cases, not just a little blip. Statewide, though, COVID has no signs of letting up. The Department of Public Health says every single county in the state is at high risk for COVID transmission. Reporting live in Huntsville this morning, Luke Hydash, Way 31 News.